Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. We have one more week of Rogue Stone left and in this video I'm going to take a look at the best decks to climb the legend before the balance patch. And this pre-balance patch meta, the changes from last week are mostly that decks have been taking even harder against Rogue and that still has not helped. I mean Rogue is still very very strong. And there are decks that can go toe to toe with Rogue, just barely, and that's because they have hard tech against that matchup. So for example, at number 9 we have Quest Shaman. Quest Shaman has been hanging around this list, it's been going down slowly, but it still remains a contender, and this week the list has changed a little bit because of more taking against Rogue. There's Rostrod Viper included in the list now, and there's Brukan of the Elements. So just adding more of these tools that help you, like Rogue plays in their scabs, you can play Brukan, you get rid of those stealth minions, and of course weapon rogues using their weapons, Rostrod Viper taking some of those weapons away. And Quest Shaman has its good matchups, like Libran Paladins, Vulnerable TK Shamans, Aggro Druids. But it's not terrible against Thief Rogue either, but that Poison Rogue matchup, it's still pretty brutal. And therefore, coming in at number 8, the best Shaman deck in the format at the moment, I mean, just overtaken Quest Shaman again, these two have been going neck and neck, but this week, Volner OTK Shaman coming in at number 8, doing slightly better than Quest Shaman for now. And once again we can see heavy teching against rogue decks, two copies of Rastrot Viper in the best performing Bolner Shaman list, and yeah, that's just the way it goes. Overall the matchup spread between Bolner OTK Shaman and Quest Shaman is very similar, Bolner OTK Shaman has the advantage that it has a good beast droid matchup, whereas Quest Shaman is strong against aggro droid but not strong against beast droid. On the other hand Quest Shaman is favored in the mirror, but you're not going to face a lot of these mirrors anyway, so having that good beast droid matchup just puts Bolner OTK Shaman one step ahead of Quest Shaman at the moment. Then coming in at number 7 is beast droid, and beast droid is a fine deck to take against rogues, it's not really favored against any rogues, but it can go toe to toe with them, and that's already some kind of an accomplishment for a deck. The best performing beast read lists that we have good sample sizes of are still these ones that run all of these legendary cards. Although there is now also some data on decks that don't run any legendary cards, and those decks are doing fine, but we still don't have enough data to fully evaluate their performance. And in the battle for the druidic crown, Acro Druid still slightly ahead of Beast Druid. Acro Druid strong against Poison Rogue, weaker against Thief Rogue, Beast Druid a little bit more mellow in both matchups but Acro Druid overall performing slightly better. No changes to the list from last week. And speaking of decks that have no changes in them, well, Quest Hand Warlock, no changes to the list for the last, what, two months? Um, anyway, Quest Hand Warlock, still a fine deck to play. That weakness against Poison Rogue is starting to hurt a little bit more, because Poison Rogue is becoming more popular, but very good matchup against Thief Rogue, in fact the best matchup against Thief Rogue out of any deck, it's still enough to keep Quest and Warlock in a respectable position. And coming in at number 4, Libran Paladin, no changes to the list, Libran Paladin is perfectly fine as it is. Tons of healing, tons of taunts, some swing turns, just a generally strong deck. But compared to last week, Libran Paladin has been overtaken by Face Hunter. Face Hunter now number 3 deck in the format, and there's been some evolution in the Face Hunter lists. The current Face Hunters, again, were taking against rogues. And sure, there's stuff like Rusted Viper in this deck, but the more interesting card than Rusted Viper, which I wouldn't necessarily run in every Face Hunter list, is the Beast Stalker Tavish. Beast Stalker Tavish is actually the highest performing card in Face Hunter against rogues. And that's what really warrants its place here. It's a really improved Face Hunter's Rogue matchup, and yeah, it's also a lot of fun to play with. So if you want to check out something a little bit different than previously, Face Hunter could be a pick. And then the top two positions in Rogue Stone belong to Rogue decks. Yeah, everyone's taking against them, and they're fighting the good fight, sometimes even succeeding, but overall Rogue is still just so incredibly strong. Everyone who is not taking against Rogue, then... It's just not working very well for them. And coming in as number 2 is Thief Rogue, no changes to the list, the rogue lists are pretty much finalized. This is the Thief Rogue list, running that one copy of Rustered Viper so that they have a chance against Poison Rogues in the mirror, and boom, off we go. And the number 1 deck in the format, Poison Rogue, even though people are taking in stuff like double Rustered Vipers, well, even Poison Rogue is taking in Rustered Viper for the mirror match, but Poison Rogue is just so incredibly powerful. And until we get the balance patch on the 25th of January, this is how it's going to go. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, 
please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitch channel.